Hi, this is Steve McAllister. I am here at the uh, Sarasota Opera House where last night the first film of the Sarasota Film Festival kicked off in 2015. The 17th Annual Sarasota Film Festival. April 10th through the 19th. The hearts and minds of independent film. Uh, last night we had an uh, amazing turnout here. Lines were around the corner. Uh, stars like Ben Vereen came out. We can do something about this. We keep putting on the We the people can do something about this. And to have Warren and Ben with us uh, is just beyond my wildest dreams for what our first opening night would be. Uh, KT Karan, who is in our SRQ short program, came out with her film uh, When the Party Ends. And today we had the uh, Sundance Bill Gates uh, Filmmaker Challenge here. And it really helped address the, the homeless and the poverty situation from many different angles. To um, bring in <coughs> short films about poverty and inequity and homelessness. And the results, or, or the winners, are what you're about to see now in this shorts program. To our knowledge, this unless it's changed since we talked to them last, this encore presentation of this program is the only time outside Sundance that this program will ever be seen. So it has this, this tour has two stops, the Sundance Film Festival and the Sarasota Film Festival. Afterward, we followed up with a panel discussion from a few of the filmmakers who, who have come out to the film festival this year and our own city manager, Tom Barwin. New York has 60,000 homeless people and 25,000 of them are children and a lot of them, even, you know, they have a job, a full-time job and have to live in a shelter, which is how great you that thing. We're really evolving as a community, I think, now to uh, realize that we've got to take each and every one of these individuals on a case-by-case -case basis because there's so many unique stories, so many unique situations, and that's what we're trying to organize to do. But these educational efforts, these films, these conversations, really probably the most part, important part of what we're going through so we can get as many people in the community on the same page in terms of understanding the challenge. Um, I, mean, I don't consider myself homeless, I just consider myself a guy that doesn't have a home. And in my case, it was more a choice. You know, it's, I just wanted to have a, a simple life. I didn't want to uh, fall into the trap of the rat race again and uh, trying to come up with uh, about a thousand bucks a month to have a shared place in, in Manhattan. And we discussed some of these issues of, of homelessness, how film can, can help to create uh, uh, more understanding uh, regarding this issue and how we can come to a better way of dealing with it. And um, for us, just being there at the after hours in the hospitality room where the men are playing chess, playing card games, watching the NBA together, sharing meals, praying together, uh, it, it, that's for me where it really opened my eyes and thought, man, this is, this is what community is supposed to be about. When you take the wealth, when you take, you know, just all these facades that we, we kind of, you know, lay ourselves with, and you just see the human being for what they really are. I mean, we met people with master's degrees in the shelter, a New York photographer, fashion photographer that landed on hard times and just happened to be in there as well. And uh, like everyone is saying, these are people with real stories, and so, and, and that's where I, I think I've, I've found the purest sense of the brotherhood of man, where you're just having real conversations with people and um, just talking about life in a very real way and, and going through life together, even if it's temporary in a short amount of time. We're telling one story, and it's one of many, many stories that are all different and have you know, moving parts. And I think that kind of what we're, we're all kind of speaking of is the individual and um, learning the individual story and, and seeing how you can be a part of that, in that story. Um, Michael Dunaway led the panel and I think that, that hiring Michael Dunaway was probably one of the best decisions the Sarasota Film Festival has ever made. I, I, I kind of feel like I got I got the key to the uh, backstage at Disney World or something, you know? This <laughs> is <laughs> so the first time, that's an exclusive, it's the first time I've said that. It's kind of cool. Uh, no, I, I feel, okay. Uh, yes, I mean it's incredible. Uh, I've been a, a huge fan, it's been my favorite festival for years. With the films that were in the Sun Ga Sundance Bill Gates uh, collection, one of them was called Man in the Maze, which addressed the disparity in uh, economics and how we have come to see food as a commodity uh, so that when it can't make money anymore, it's just thrown away. And millions and millions of pounds of food are thrown away when people are still going hungry. So in Arizona, where the film was shot, they're re rethinking the way that they're growing their own food, um, opening food banks, and putting that food to good use. 
And so I asked the panel of, of how we need to also look at readdressing this issue of real estate, uh, these imaginary lines we draw on the sand where um, people who can't afford to, to play that game of real estate can still have a place to live. Uh, unfortunately, I, I stumped the panel, but Tom Barwin did say something very poignant on what we need to be thinking out about as we move forward as a community. Uh, eventually, there needs to be areas within the, in the region that is uh, a little more open to some zoning changes and, and things for smaller homes or creative and innovative uh, housing developments for maybe very low income people. So, at some point, that's to be considered. If it could be associated with agriculture, raising food, uh, all the better. Make sure you come back to SRQ Backlot for some more updates on what's going on with the film festival and um, really use this opportunity to think through this, this theme of homelessness and how we can change things here in Sarasota and around the world.